to pick or not to pick? That is the question. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up, NBA fans, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Continuing my draft profile and scouting report series. We did Scoo Henderson yesterday, Victor one man while back. Continuing on with Alabama's Brandon Miller. While I'm going over his strengths, weaknesses, and the controversy surrounding Brandon, drop a comment down below. Is this a player you'd want on your team? Or are you thinking, yeah, you know what, maybe we'll stay away on that one go with the next best available player. Hit that thumbs up, guys, Portofel Spurs and NBA fan, and subscribe for more content. Or maybe you just think I'm cool. Probably not. Anyway, let's get into it. What's going on with Brandon Miller? Well, one of the brightest... Oh, this is from Clutch Points. I'll drop the article in the comments down below if you want to read it on your own. One of the brightest prospects in the NCAA throughout the season was Alabama star Brandon Miller. Through his time in college, though his time in college ended with a brutal showing in the NCAA tournament amid the controversy over his involvement in a fatal shooting on campus. Uh-oh, we'll get that much later. Miller averaged just about 19 points per game, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists while shooting 43% from the field and 38% from the arc in 37 games. However, he shot just 8 of 41, that's below 20%, and 3 of 19 from three-point land as he battled an injury in the NCAA tournament, which ended for top-seeded Alabama with an upset loss in the Sweet 16. Miller is six foot nine and 200 pounds. He has tremendous length and athleticism, showing the ability to get his own shot in any given second. I do like players that can create their own shot. As far as his strengths, he's a certified bucket getter, and for his size, possesses a beautiful shooting stroke. He can knock down threes from all over the perimeter and has a solid mid-range game using his length to rise above defenders and drain field goals. Good. So, again, create his own shot, make his own shot. Like it. He also isn't afraid to take big shots. So, if there's a guy you need to take the final shot in the game when you're down one, you need that go-ahead bucket, give it to Brandon. Defensively, Miller is a pest and does a nice job of staying with his man thanks to good footwork and persistence. However, he does have some weakness, NBA fans. For one, he is too, re whoops, too reliant on his own shot and struggles to get inside and finish amongst bigs. I got to think that's because of his frame, 6'9", 220. Probably didn't get pushed around by bigger guys in the NBA. And they mentioned actually right here, Miller really needs to add muscle to his slender frame as well if he wants to succeed. Those guys that are 240, 250, 260, just going to get out of the paint. You ain't coming in here. Anyway, lastly, playmaking. He averaged just two dimes per night for Bama, so two assists. Yes, he is a wing, but being able to get your teammates involved is critical. That's not a huge concern for me. For the moment, Brandon Miller, a lot of players early in their career don't get a ton of assists. They, you know, they get more acclimated in the offense that they're in. Those assists will just come with time. And just being able to read read the defense and seeing your open teammate and get them the ball. Of course, your teammate needs to make the shot. That's important, too. As we've talked about his strength and we Oh, we still have some, one, one, one more thing here. Oh, this is actually what I'm going to. So the controversy. I'm just going to read this here. Take it for what you will. In mid-January, Darius Miles, a former teammate of Brandon Miller, was involved in the death of a young woman it was later revealed that miller gave miles the gun to shoot jane jamai jonah harris with his best friend michael davis reportedly pulling however the firearm did belong to miles and there wasn't enough evidence to charge miller with anything so that's important he wasn't charged in everything however this is a very bad look for an nba draft prospect that being said it likely won't affect his stock maybe maybe not as a san antonio spurs fan i will say this we already had our drama with Joshua Primo last year. He was a lottery pick, I believe 12th overall, and he's no longer on the team because of things off the court. And a Spurs fan, and thinking about how the Spurs organization is going to move forward with the draft if he's available, because of the recency and the bad taste that I'm sure was left in their mouths by having a, a such a young prospect no longer on the team, I don't think the Spurs will draft Brandon Miller. I don't. I just don't see any situation. I think they're going to be like, you know what? Maybe, yes, he's innocent of everything that occurred off the court, but still just having that maybe there, just, just in case. They might just say, you know what, we're going to go on the safe side, next best available player. That being said, Brandon Miller, based on what I've seen in mock drafts, could go as high as number two. Victor's going number one, barring something weird happened. He could get injured before the draft or have a minor thing, which could knock him down a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just still be number one. I don't know. I'm talking nonsense. That being said, if he doesn't go number two, don't expect him to fall much more than that. And I think when it's all said and done, he's likely going to be a top three pick. If there's any teams like my San Antonio Spurs that maybe have had a, a pick or a player recently where there's maybe a little bit of controversy, something happened, other teams might go, you know what, maybe we'll stay away. But in the end, he wasn't charged with anything, and I wish him the best. Hopefully, moving forward, I will say this. 
awful young man. There's nothing else attached to his name like this. No, no nonsense, nothing bad off the court, and he has a very successful NBA career. I am rooting for him. Yeah, it's. I just, I just hope that uh, none of this comes up for him again. Because if, if another incident comes up, especially before, before the draft, we still have time before the draft. That is really going to hurt him. And I'll just say it at that. So to my Spurs fans that are watching, is this a player you'd want on the team despite the, the controversy that was attached to him? Despite the poor showing the NCAA tournament, even though he had an injury, still obviously did not play very well. To other folks that are watching this video right now, whether you're a Houston Rockets fan or Detroit Pistons fan or maybe you're one of the teams that's, you know, near the bottom of the ladder and get lucky and you get jump, you know, you, you, you hit the magic ball, you hit the magic ball, magic eight ball, and now you're drafting the top three. Is Brandon Miller a player you'd want on your team or are you kind of like, you know what, pass, we'll go with the next best player available. Short video today, looking forward to doing more on these as, as a Spurs fan, we could draft anywhere from one to seven. So there's a lot of players still that we can talk about. Probably going to stop just in kind of the top 10, but it's interesting to kind of check out players that could be available for my team. And who knows, maybe they'll be available one day for your team. But thank you all for tuning in. And as always, uh, well, because I'm a Spurs fan, I got to say it. Go Spurs, go!